face awesome. I'm gonna show you, you know, the breathing, and then I'm gonna do push ups. Because I really like it, it brings me good feeling. And you can also do it when you're feeling you might be getting a cold or something. It could be a good benefit doing the breathing, and after three sets, you do the fourth set with push ups after. It's really nice. But I'm gonna do the breathing. Two sets. You can do it with me if you want to. Two sets. And uh, in the end of the second set, I'm gonna breathe out. I'm gonna do push ups as many as I can. And when I feel I have to have air, I get myself sitting or lying down and uh, keep some air. And remember, you don't have to sit like me, you can sit like this. You can lay down, you can sit how the fuck you want. As long as you keep your uh, stomach and breast free, you know, so they can move. In, out, in, out, up, down, up, down. So that's the most important thing. So let's do it. You know, full inhale, in. And just let the air follow through you because you're releasing it. Don't force it. Before I used to force it. It's, it's a technique too, but I feel I get more of the good feeling when I do not force it out. I just force a little bit in, like. So I breathe in more than I breathe out. That's the basics. I breathe in more than I breathe out. And that's the. Uh, Pranayama has something similar, you know, you breathe in more than you breathe out. So, but let's do it. Do it with me. I would do it in approximately 30 breaths. So, I'm gonna start. One wig in. And let it out. Could you hear the pike? They're hunting. Let's do the other set.
not the last one. You take a big inhale and then you put a put it out and then you do push-ups as many as you can. Take a big inhale, hold it, feel your body, you know, let it out, don't hold too long. That brings some really good feeling to the body my opinion and I can do 21 push-ups holding my breath I couldn't do that if I just sit here relaxing and then and then try to do 21 with just breathing out it's impossible I can't do it but when I do this breathing exercise I lower the carbon dioxide level in my blood and increase my oxygen level. And you know, your body only measures the carbon dioxide level because too much carbon dioxide in your blood is toxic to you. So it measures that. But it doesn't measure the oxygen. So when you feel like you're like, you won't have air, that's because you're carbon dioxide levels in your body is getting too high so you want to let them out bring oxygen and let it out you know to clean it out and when you do this breathing exercise you're releasing the carbon dioxide from your blood uh, from your blood flow so and you're filling it with more oxygen you know you're letting more oxygen attached to the red blood cells in your blood and that's why I can do 21 holding my holding my breath it's quite extraordinary feel really good <sighs> don't force yourself too much if you can't do 21 it's okay if you can do one that's good but if you're if you can't do one push-up I recommend you to do this type of push-up you know where you put your knees like this and then do this. You know, to start. Start with something. And uh, you can start like this in the beginning, maybe. Like, the, the closer you're putting your knees to your shoulders, easier you're gonna be. Like this. You know, we gotta start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. You're not gonna start off being strong if you're weak. You're gonna start off being weak. But you're gonna build yourself up more and more as you go to be stronger, stronger, stronger. And eventually you will be strong. And what's strong? That's what you decide is strong. No one else can say what it is. You gotta feel for yourself what is strength to me, what is strong means to me. And if you feel you're already strong, then you don't have to do much. Really good guy. Like, yeah, but if you feel you're weak, you need to get stronger, you gotta work, do exercises, ask questions, have to ask questions, you know.
think about what the fuck are you doing? Am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the wrong thing? Do I enjoy my situation? And you gotta face face the choices you have to make in your life. It's not what happens to us that means something. It's what we choose to do about it that is the meaning of what you will become and what you will do. So it's not what happens. It's what you do. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'm thinking about doing like you know live stream since there's many people asking me questions so if you would like me to do like a live stream video please uh, tell me in the comment or like like it like my video yeah like my video or put a comment like yes I want to do a live stream and then I can come with like a time and date I can do it people can ask questions so nice because I want to help you because because you ask me questions I I want to ask them you know if you ask me questions I ask them and uh, I don't have the, uh, the answer for anything uh, I mean everything <laughs> Maybe I don't have to answer for anything. I don't know. Everything is so hard. But yeah, ask me questions. I will try, try to answer them as clear I can. And I will stay truth on because I want to go with the truth. I won't do this if it would hurt me or I wouldn't feel good when I'm doing it. I wouldn't eat as much fruit as, fruit as I do just because of something. I just do it because I feel fucking awesome when I do it. And you should also do things because you feel fucking awesome when you're doing it. Isn't that right? Yeah. Love you guys. See you next time. Follow your dreams.